All right, welcome back to Ron's Garage. Uh, I know it's been a while. Uh, I've been doing a couple little odds and ends here and there, uh, but it's been chilly and uh, a little too cold to multitask. Uh, let me show you one thing, and then I'll go back up to the front. Uh, I put a new filler neck on that fuel cell. Uh, much better than this old ugly thing that used to be on there. I think you'll agree. I'm going to get some uh, chrome nylock nuts to go around there. I meant to do that the other day when I was at the store and forgot, but I'll do that. So anyway, that's back in. The fuel gauge center unit is in. Uh, so now I've been working on the radiator. And I've got it mounted on the core support. I had to take the core support out um, to be able to work on this thing realistically. And then I should have shown you this while I was back here. Uh, on the core support, if that's what it's even called on these cars, I'm not sure. Radiator mount hoop, I don't know. But I had to cut this piece out of there because uh, it was just in the way. So I've got that mounted. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the car. Hold on just a minute. Now, I think I've got a place I can set you here where you can actually see something. Yeah, let's see what that does. That's where it's going to sit, is right about there. Right there. So, that's what it looks like from the front. That's what it looks like from the engine compartment. Uh, the filler neck sticks out plenty so I can get to it. Uh, the puke tank, the coolant overflow tank is going to mount on the side of this same hoop core support uh, down here. And that'll be just fine. I already checked that out. Uh, so, yeah, that's one thing. Uh, I used nut certs. Uh, I put nut certs in this uh, and then the aluminum tabs, uh, as you saw in the picture when it was laying on a workbench. The aluminum tabs on the radiator uh, are bolted to this with the nut certs. And I had to trim a couple of them and had to cut a couple of the bottom ones off because they were just too big to fit inside this hoop. So that's not a big deal. This is plenty of support. So, and I put nut certs in this for these bolts. These were a nut and a bolt that, a nut that went back behind here, what I'm not going to be able to get to now. Uh, so, uh, and then there's already welded nuts inside here for bolts that go in from the, uh, the fender. I guess it's the fenders. Yeah. So now I'm going to slide that back out of there and put the, uh, coolant fan on it. Uh, and you can see. Even with the long water pump, I've got plenty of room. I painted the front of the motor um, as I was painting the water pump because uh, I knew I wouldn't be able to get to that once I put that on. Uh, so because of the way I have to upload videos, uh, I'm going to go mount the uh, cooling fan. Then I'll set that back in there again and show you that. Um, but I have to do part one and part two because I have to uh, uh, upload to YouTube straight from my phone. I can't download from here onto anything. Uh, so anyway, that's next. Hopefully that'll be uh, uploaded right after this one. Thanks. Bye.